Well, it's rumor time again. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you and on my channel that's PC Tech, Games and Gear. Today we're talking about a new rumor that's recently circling around the internet and sorry for getting this video out a little bit late, boys keeping me up very late at night but I'm very happy with that. Uh, but basically the rumor is this, Ryzen 2, so now this is the next iteration from AMD of the Ryzen architecture, is supposed to be dropping sometime in February. On top of that, they were showing that there's going to be a new chipset, potentially, this is the rumor. Now, if this is true, it's alarming to me for one reason. A new chipset is all well and fine. I Intel obviously does new chipset like every six to 12 months. And basically, it's fine if it adds, you know, feature support, et cetera, et cetera. However, AMD kind of sold everybody on Ryzen being an A, or the AM4 platform, I should say, as supporting Ryzen 1, Ryzen 2, Ryzen 3. Basically, if you bought a motherboard now, it would be up uh, with BIOS updates going forward in the future. You could pop in a Ryzen 2 or Ryzen 3 CPU down the road and it would work just fine. So I'm all for if there's going to be a new chipset with new features, new support, whatever. But I better be able to buy a Ryzen 2 and slap it in my motherboard or AMD. I'm going to be pissed at you. Secondly, we know a little bit more about Coffee Lake. It is dropping October 5th. There's going to be six SKUs in the lineup dropping, but there are going to be more Coffee Lake CPUs coming out later. Um, so basically, there's two i3s, two i5s, two i7s. On top of that, there'll be an overclockable SKU in each of those ranges. So like an overclockable, like a K version i3, K version i5, etc. And then they have an introductory motherboard and chipset which is kind of weird because the actual official chipset and motherboard for them is going to be dropping at the same time Ryzen 2 is supposed to be dropping, supposedly. So if you are going to be buying Coffee Lake, your options are going to be limited in terms of motherboards. You're also not going to have really any budget options. And then the BIOS and chipset that you buy is not the official Coffee Lake chipset, whatever that means. So it's one of those things where I, it makes sense because if Ryzen 2 is going to be dropping and Intel doesn't really have anything to combat it or to take away attention, dropping some more Coffee Lake stuff might be a good strategy. The next iteration after Coffee Lake, of course, is supposed to be Ice Lake, um, which is going to be on a smaller nanometer chip. Lots of exciting things happening. Overall, I do believe these rumors to be true. We've seen over the last year uh, that a lot of tech rumors are coming out there to be true. The Ryzen rumors were true. The Threadripper rumors were true for the most part. Uh, Coffee Lake's shaping up to be pretty, you know, true as far as what we saw a couple months back with rumors that released on that. If you if you remember, there was like a rumor about their i3 lineup from China that it showed that the gaming, you know, the gaming capability was going to be the same as in like an i7 from Skylake. And now we know there's a four core, four thread processor that's going to be around four gigahertz. So yeah, it's probably going to be as good or at least in the same ballpark. So I'm excited. I'm Ryzen 2 is coming out. Coffee Lake's coming out. I am going to be doing a build for my buddy on that, which I'm going to show you all uh, dropping here in the next couple of weeks. But um, as far as rumors go, this is something that I think is actually probably going to happen, but we'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed either way, guys. I want to hear back from you, and we hope to see you next time here on Geared Inc.